sorry that it's been over a month since I last updated. Things have just been crazy. Um, as you know, or I think you know, um, I was in the middle of moving from Woodland to Fresno, California. Um, the move went well. We got here on the 24th of October, and um, yeah, we're living in a house with a bunch of family, and it's really fun. I love being with my family. Um, yeah, I'm having like all these blank, like blank thoughts. I don't, I don't know what that's about, but <coughs> it's been happening lately. Um, I made like a little list of things that I want to remember to talk about because I'm totally going to forget about it. Um, I'm writing things down as I'm, ta as I'm talking just to make sure that I don't forget about it. And I just had something in my head and I forgot what it was. See? That's why I have to write it down. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed your Halloween and Thanksgiving. Um, I know I did. It was pretty fun. We went to my uncle's house who actually lives um, on the next street in like the same house as we do. It's funny. It was okay. I was really tired most of the time, so I just kind of like sat there and laid down and kind of looked like a slob the whole time. <laughs> I had pie. Um, let's see. Despite the fact that I have this big old list right here of things to talk about, I kind of just don't know where to start, so I, have to, I guess I kind of have to get back into the groove of making videos. You know, I kind of lost, I lost my mojo past month. Um, okay, well, I'll start off with this. Um, not yesterday, but the day before, I s saw my doctor in Fresno for the very first time. Um, when we first got here, I had registered with a hospital, but I wasn't able to get a physician because I had no insurance. When I was in Woodland, I was on Medi-Cal, but it was minor's consent and it only covered the pregnancy, um, but I was having trouble getting it here because I couldn't figure out where to get it from, and, um, and so I had finally got that a couple of weeks ago and saw my doctor the other day. Anyway, so I was there, and, um, I did a blood test and a urine test, of course, and they told me that I was slightly anemic, which... I know somebody's asked me if I was before because I have intense cravings to chew ice. Um, not like big ice cubes, those hurt my teeth, but like um, ice chips. And I was reaching to the freezer the other night and I'm like chewing on ice and my aunt is like, are you anemic? And I was telling her, I don't think so. My doctors have never told me that I was anemic. I don't think I am. I just like to chew ice. And she's like, you should get that checked out. I think you're anemic. And so my doctor told me the other day that I was slightly anemic, and um, it kind of came as a shock because I had been anemic since I got pregnant, I, apparently, and my doctors in Woodland never told me that. So I was kind of like, gee, thanks. <laughs> um, anyway, so there's that, and then, <sighs> see, I'm supposed to be like 36 weeks right now, um, the baby dropped, finally right on the day I was going to the doctor and I had noticed it too because I woke up that morning and I stood up and there was like a, a little bit of pressure on my pelvic bone and it kind of felt like something was pulling at my lower back it, it didn't hurt at all it actually kind of felt good <laughs> but um, I was like this is strange I wonder if this is what it feels like when the baby drops and lo and behold I go to the doctor and they tell me that the baby's head had dropped so, um, I'm actually due in the next couple of weeks, as opposed to being due around Christmas, which, yeah, came as a big shock to me and the family. And let me show you guys my belly real quick, because, um, about three weeks ago, the stretch marks finally started showing up. There were only, like, little ones. And then they started getting, not bigger, but just a lot more, and in a bigger area. But they're, like, mine are, like, thin and short, but there's a lot of them. So, I'm going to show you guys real quick. Because I know some of you are probably really curious to see.
Yeah, and if you haven't noticed, I have grown a lot since. Oh darn, you can't really see. Hold on, let me close the blinds. Uh, that's a little better. Okay. Oh, let me stretch like the sea. Here we go. Stretch marks galore. Aren't they gorgeous? You know you love them. <laughs> well, there's my belly now. At about 36 weeks. I'm all shiny. Let me scoot up here. There we go. <sighs> yeah. See, I have an any, so my belly button, it kind of, like, ugh, I don't know how to show you guys, right here, there's like a little flap of skin, and it kind of pokes out, but it's not my belly button poking out, it's just a flap of skin right there, because I have an any, so, everyone's like, oh, your belly button's finally poking out, and I'm like, no, it really isn't, it's just a flap of skin. <laughs> Okay, so there's that. Um, and then I was going to talk about Steven's asthma. He has really bad asthma. I think, I don't know if I told you guys that. But um, since we moved to Fresno, it's gotten worse because Fresno is in the San Joaquin Valley of California, which apparently is the area with the poorest air quality in California because um, we get Northern California's smog and pollution as well as Southern California's, and we're in a valley. So in the summer when there's a lot of heat, you know, it's like a cap on top of the valley and it just traps all of the smog and all the nasty, all the nasty. And so it's one of the worst places for asthmatics to live in. And um, we've had to go to the emergency room a couple of times because of his asthma attacks. And um, they were, the doctors were telling us that there's a very high chance that the baby is going to have asthma. Um, and that they recommend that we move away from the San Joaquin Valley as soon as possible. So, we know we're going to have to. I want to, kind of. I don't, I don't really like living in a city. I'm used to being out in the country and in the desert, you know. So, yeah. So, we're probably going to have to move soon. Oh, it's already been eight minutes. Okay, i got to hurry and get this done over with. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You know, the ten-minute thing. Um... I finally got a job. I don't know if I told you guys this, I might have. I finally got a job, but it's not really a job, but it still is a job. And um, I am an independent, an Avon independent sales representative, or something along the lines of that. <laughs> I kind of get confused sometimes. And um, I have an online website, if you guys want to check it out. It's youravon.com slash Leticia Gallegos. It's my first and last name. I will... Um, I'll make a note of it on the details section of the video thingy, so if anybody's curious, you can go shop at my store and make me rich. Mm. Just kidding. But I haven't really earned anything yet, because I suck at outdoor sales, and I can't really talk to people. I have hard enough trouble as it is talking to you guys. You can imagine me going door to door trying to get somebody to buy stuff from me. <laughs> but it's... yeah. Well, I, I better go, because it's, like, been almost nine and a half minutes, and, yeah, YouTube is gay like that, and you can only have ten minutes. So, um, this is my lame update. I wish you all well. I hope you're doing good, and, um, I just, I have to go. <laughs> I'll try to update soon. I'm not going to make any promises. You, know, you guys know me. I'm gone for weeks at a time. So, yeah. Bye.